challenging matchup. Uh, my opinion, they've got the best player in our league. Uh, and his name isn't Liddell. And that's no offense because he's terrific. Malachi Brannon is terrific. Uh, big, strong, physical. Um, you know, they got in a nice routine where they were uh, ball screening, popping. Um, they do a good job of of pulling Kofi away, uh, but he, that young man's pretty special. And uh, but uh, I mean, I'm excited for our guys. Uh, I thought they fought like crazy. Uh, I thought they were were dialed in. Uh, I think we thing that makes me so excited is I think we found a, a new way to play. Um, you know, I liked our five out stuff. It's stuff we had worked on a lot early in the season. Um, and um, Coleman Hawkins was spectacular. Um, so, uh, obviously, Plummer was elite, 8 of 10 from the three. Um, you know, he's been shooting that cover off of it in practice and, and you know, is a special, special talent. But um, loved our fight at the end. Uh, you know, watch it on TV. Uh, very disappointed that that call wasn't made. If you guys will remember, that's the same call that they called on Coleman Hawkins at the end of the Michigan State game, so I guess we're not Michigan State. Um, but uh, uh, no doubt we didn't get the call. Um, so, uh, But give Ohio State a lot of credit, and uh, they, they deserve to win the game, but uh, you know we're sure not going to hang our heads. And it's very rare that Kofi has a night where he's minus 19 in the plus-minus. Questions? <clears throat> Coach, free throw disparity was a really huge stat in the game, obviously. Was it was that Ohio State being the aggressor, or were there, there were some things you saw in the calls that just would, weren't going your way? No, most of them were my technicals. I, you know, I, yeah, I, I that's why I was angry. That's why I was, um, You know, yeah, I was frustrated. Uh, they're 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 aggressive. They 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 had seven assists all night. They don't do anything off the pass. They do everything off the bounce. Uh, they're a, they're a low assist team, and and so they got they got us downhill. But uh, um, you know, it's it's uh, it's it was credit to them, and they got to the foul line and and uh, and made them. Good, Rob. I assume the five out, you didn't consider going to it earlier because you have the National Player of the Year candidate, even though he was a little bit ineffective. It's got to be a hard decision to make. Yeah, I mean, I subbed him out early. We went to it uh, in the second half. I mean, you're going to ride your horse down. Nobody believes in Kofi Coburn more, more than me. I mean, that dude is, is special. And uh, um, unfortunately, um, I don't know, what was he from the field? Missed 10 layups. He missed 10 layups. Well, nine layups and a jump shot. Uh, that doesn't happen. We know that. He's one of the top field goal shooters. And, again, maybe that's their defense. Or, um, but Kofi's seen just about all of it. And tonight just wasn't his night. Jeremy. Brad, you got the crowd pretty into it as you left the court. Just what's going on in your mind when that's happening? Just that. I'm. I'm. I, you do something to rile your team. I was fighting for Kofi. I was fighting for Kofi. I was fighting for, um, you know, everything that I didn't think was going our way. And um, I am really proud of them. They responded. They 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 rallied. Um, got the best fans in the country. Um, had a layup. You know, had to lay it to tie it. Those guys fought back, man. They are that's a prideful bunch. Uh, you can write that we lost, but the biggest story is how much pride this group has and how hard they fought. And uh, and like you said, there was there was a few things gained tonight as well. Alec, you talk about the pride that this team has in the fight. Coleman said that you guys had kind of a heart-to-heart -heart conversation about adversity and not quitting. What went into that conversation for you, and what's it mean for him to be able to respond with maybe his best game of the season tonight? Well, my title's coach. And coach is psychiatrist, ball coach, help him with academics, uh, but but help and, and build relationships that you can have really hard conversations. And we do that in this program. I'm not I'm not here to sugarcoat them and tell them they're great all the time when they're not. And uh, you know, nobody believes in Coleman more than me. And and we 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 got a glimpse tonight of Coleman's talents. 
and um, you know he wasn't playing to that level he was uh, in whatever kind of mental funk he was he was in and um, we need to get him out of it for us to go where we want to go and in March we needed to get him out of it and, and tonight uh, he's actually been great in the last three or four games so um, we need we need Coleman Hawkins to be terrific because he's a guy that can play at the next level. What was your experience like watching that comeback? I guess on TV in the locker room. I was probably still coaching. Um, um, you know, I, I wasn't a big fan of Demonte's foul, and uh, but we we ran great action. We we were we were fighting. We were competing. Uh, you know, I just pacing back and forth in the locker room, and 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 uh, the staff did a great great job, and 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 the players made plays, and you know, I, I was you know praying for a praying for an opportunity to tie it, and we we got one. So it was uh, it was. Not near as much fun as wish you know wishes on the sidelines, but it, it couldn't be that way tonight. Couldn't just couldn't be that way. Sure. Uh, two things logistically: how did you come up with the plan for what happens when you get or if you get ejected from a game in terms of who takes over what duties? And, and the second, were, were you? I mean, you were frustrated for a better part of the game. Were you searching for at least the first technical in any capacity? Well, the second one I didn't deserve. The first one I tried really hard to get. The second one I didn't even deserve it. If you're gonna let me, if you're gonna throw me out, come on, just you know, let me let me earn it. Um, but I, there was a, I didn't like some of the, I didn't like some of the calls, and I deserved the first one. But you know, enough. You have a follow up, Joy. Logistically, oh, yeah, we, we've got coordinators. So we've got offensive coordinator and Jeff, defensive coordinator and Chester and and Tim handles substitutions. So all those guys kind of kind of do themselves and they they sit there and whatever, you know, both of them are running the all of them are running the huddles. So it's, it's the way it works. Jeremy. Brad, we might focus on the Big Ten race, and obviously you still want to win that. Um, but how, how much of what you guys are doing now, you said you were in some things, you found some things. March. Yeah, how much is about March. building for that? Yeah, I didn't do that last year. I didn't do that last year. And we were, we were, we, 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 we're doubling down on what we do, but, but we're, we're always, I challenged our staff the other day. I said, I need three or four things that give us problems and we got to go figure it out now and and it's that time and uh, I felt like that was a problem in the Loyola game and uh, uh, not that we were going to win that game but uh, again this is something we worked on a lot early and now we've come back to we can we can five-way switch uh, we can put different lineups out there it puts Luke you know, tonight, you know, it was a great opportunity if we'd had RJ with his size and length on Branham. Um, you know, we missed Ben. Uh, but but I like the opportunities that, that present itself um, when we don't have to. We can throw somebody a curveball. You know, it's not just loaded up and go to Kofi every time. Doug. Coach, <clears throat> Andre Corbello played 18 minutes, three assists, uh, one turnover. Seemed like he was under control and pretty dialed in. Is that, is that what you saw? Yeah, he was terrific. He was terrific. And, uh, you know, he's, he's, he's again, a guy that, you know, Trent's our defensive, our defensive stopper, and we had, we had Plummer on a heater. So, um, you know, those gave those guys opportunities. And, you know, he had – Phil did an admirable job of filling in when Trent was uh, – had foul trouble in the first half. So, uh, you know, we got to keep Trent aggressive. Trent's got to stay. You know, we need Trent to have the mindset he's got to get 30 every night. When he does, when he has that mindset, he's 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 really good. He's he's I gotta get him going a little more. Andy, yeah, so with Kyle Young, they were able to kind of do the pick and pop and kind of five out offensively. How kind of hard did that make it for Kofi and for you guys defensively to guard that? Very. So they're a hard matchup for us. They're a very very hard matchup and scouting report mistakes because Kyle is an all right hand driver. And he drove it three times right-handed, one on Demonte and 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 a couple on Kofi, and um, you know we've got to we've got to we've got to know that. 
but um, you know, again, it was um, uh, you know it was a challenge. You know, you get Branham going downhill, and um, you know he's an elite, 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 elite finisher, and um, you know that's why the five out stuff worked. We can switch all that and level him off, and uh, and still stay with the you know with the pop guy, Derek. Coach, outside of the standard game of runs, is there anything you're noticing in these dramatic swings where you're up 13, 22 to 2 for them, you guys come back, just those stretches of dramatic one way or the other? Well, yeah, tonight, and I think, you know, and I'm just, you know, you, you can't ever fall in love with the three. You know, tonight we build a lead because it's all threes. And and you've got to find – I always feel really good when we've got the balance. And, um, you know, there's – there's uh, we made a huge run, which is something new. We made a huge run tonight with Kofi out uh, in that first half. And we had guys making shots. Um, you know, in the past, some of it's been just Kofi overload. And I've been trying really hard to work on getting other guys – into sets and actions uh, that aren't Kofi, but um, again, it, it was you know the start of the second half was not very good, not very good execution on the defensive side, and and they get on a run, and 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 we're not, you know, we turn it over a couple of times, and you know, all of a sudden that runs you know eight zero. Matt. You said you're looking for curveballs. Is the press maybe one of them? If Kofi needs a breather, it seems to give you guys a whole bunch of energy. I know it's desperation mode, but it seems to give you guys a lot of energy when you're doing it. Yeah, but I like it. You know me, I like aggressive. And, and, and you know, it's always been about, um, you know, changing the tempo, and it did tonight. And, uh, you know, I think the one thing that, it you know, it did at Rutgers, um, you know, it's not that we, we got two or three steals out of it. Um, but it just disrupted the flow and disrupts their timing and their flow. And, and uh, you know, that's one of the things that I'm, I'm pretty excited about. Julie? Brad, with Coleman, I, I think it was him yesterday you were talking about when you said the season doesn't stop to, to kind of come back and catch. So what was important for you? How, how do you feel like you guys were able to kind of bring him back to sea level in the middle of a pretty heavy grind of a season there? Yeah, you know, I think in Coleman's case, one of the things that I get excited about is that, you know, he, he's, he cares. He cares about winning. You have to find out at some point when guys are struggling and guys are down what, the, what they're – you know, with how much they care, and uh, you know Coleman's case, he cared. So now it was just getting him, you know, having that heart to heart, getting him back into into the gym, getting him back working, getting you know, not letting adversity just pile on. Let's let's go, and uh, you know, outwork your 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 adversity, and and you, you know, I say it all the time, you'll you'll come out on the other side. I hear the right. And coaches, uh, with that in mind, when it comes to Coleman, um, how important is that going to be for him to continue to play like this, as you mentioned with March uh, on the horizon? Oh, it's huge. He, I mean, he's a difference maker. There's no doubt. He, I mean, he and he and um, you know, it's uh, I've said the same thing about RJ. You know, before his appendicitis. Uh, you know, and, and, and it could be Luke. I mean, Luke was terrific tonight. Luke had four, three or four rebounds in the first half. You know, in a night where, I mean, Kofi had one defensive rebound. Are you kidding me? One? Um, and and so Coleman does all those things. He's got a big offensive rebound late. Uh, he goes to the glass. He's just an active, long, skilled guy. And and that that's irreplaceable. That's an advantage to us. Go so Alec and then Jeremy. Coach, you've, since you've come to the league, you and Chris Holtman have had pretty good battles. Fans seem to talk a lot about the rivalry that you've built with Iowa or Michigan. Is something building with Ohio State that's maybe just as special between you two programs and two coaches? Oh, I got a lot of respect for Chris. I mean, Chris and I came in together. I mean, he's, you know, he came in in different circumstances. Uh, you know, he came in with pros, you know, taking over for Thad. Um, and, uh, you know, it took us a while. But he's a really, really good coach. I challenge myself against him. Uh, likewise, you know, we, we've gone to their place and won. He's came to our place and won. We've had, you know, it's, it's battles. I don't know if it's a rivalry for yet, but... You know, it's 
it's it's two really good basketball teams that that I think are pretty well coached to go at it every time. We'll wrap up with Jeremy. Sure. Alfonso tied the single game three point record tonight with eight makes. Um, I, I know you've seen him do that with eleven at, at Utah one time, but what's it mean to get him right uh, heading down this this final stretch here? Yeah, he's. That's, I mean, you go eight for ten, guys. That's pretty good in a high-level game, um, and uh, you, you better account for him. You better account for him. And we ran a lot of actions to him in the first half. We, and we, I mean, we were, we were dialing that one up. And, uh, but again, he's got the ability to make hard shots, and uh, you know, we don't want him to to uh, let off the gas. You know, let's build on that and keep that going as we as we head into. To the next uh, next three weeks month. All right, thank you, Coach. Thank you.